This is a short one, unfortunately. Today I'm reviewing the Stellar Six of Gingacho, the kind of manga that will naturally fall below the radar for a lot of fans. It's a slice of life shoujo manga released in the US around 2011, focusing on the everyday adventures of 15 year olds. And I know what you're thinking. Ah, uh, uh, right. But what initially drew me into the Stellar Six was the concept. It's set in a shopping arcade which is a section of street, eh, a couple of blocks long, lined with the kinds of shops where you buy everyday items like groceries. The story is focused on six kids, all born within about a year of each other, to families that all run shops in that shopping arcade. So they all grew up together, played together, went to the same school, and now that they're all in their mid-teens, they all work part-time at that same shopping arcade. Friends forever, so to speak. But here's the twist. They've just entered high school, and they've all ended up in different classes, some in different schools. For the first time in their lives, they're starting to drift apart. The first few volumes, these three volumes, focus on one of them, an always upbeat tomboy named Mike, who is determined to keep the group together by constantly pulling them into little adventures like helping neighbors find lost items and things like that. She just is absolutely convinced that she can keep this group together. Mike is the manga's heart. This is a sweet, cheerful manga twinged with melancholy as the reader can see that Mike's crusade is frankly doomed. They are all going to grow apart to some degree, but she just hasn't grown up enough to face that yet. Now, if anything will turn people off to this manga, it's probably Mike. While not completely blind to life's problems, she's a relentlessly perky character who always sees the good in things. I did not find it annoying, personally, mainly because her best friend is a more down-to-earth boy who tempers her effervescence, so to speak. The art itself includes quite a lot of backgrounds in the panels, more than I'm used to for a shoujo manga. This actually works very well given the setting. You want to feel like you're in a cafe with them or scrounging around a back alley for a lost kitten. You need to be grounded. The author also gives us plenty of heartfelt facial expressions as well, though the style shifts around so much, I didn't have a great sense of fundamental character design or how much a character is on model. I did find myself so charmed by the stories that I frankly didn't care. This is one of those shoujo manga that has some big plot points in store with a slow burn of character introduction and development to get there. You can see the author layering potential twists into the everyday stories of the characters. And that's the biggest problem. The Stellar Six was licensed by Tokyo Pop. Those familiar with the publisher's history will connect the 2011 publication date and yup, yup, I can see your eyes are going wide. Uh, after a series of struggles, Tokyo Pop manga basically shut down in 2011 and then reopened the following year with all new licenses. Sadly, the Stellar Six of Gingacho was a victim of that restructuring and only these first three volumes out of the ten released in Japan ever made it stateside. I can't even find a scanlation of this. This is all we have. So you'll have to content yourself with this bubbly, heartfelt, slightly wistful manga full of fun characters and you'll have to wonder at their fates. And in a way, that's okay. I like the stories my imagination comes up with for these characters.